Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Big Ski Family. This is episode number 11, and this week is a little different because us kids needed to do the talking. And why that happened is because my father had work, so he left us from Bend for 10 days, and then my family took off this morning to go down and pick him up, and so they're gonna be all in Squaw Valley. And then I'm still here in Bend for two and a half days watching nine of my cousins. But since I do the editing, I get to fill in all the spots where we don't have talking. <laughs> all right, um, so we went to our cousin's house after we got home and they had built a homemade ski jump and they were doing backflips off of it. And so mama and me planned a day to go over and ski with them. Okay, so this is Oren, some of the kids, the big ski family's cousin. What are you gonna do right now, buddy? A backflip on skis off that jump. Can you explain this to me? Yeah. So we start from where Bernal and Ty are. We come down the roof, land on this, go right around, and do a backflip about that. Come down here and do a backflip. Okay, let's see this. ski bikes for the very first time it was so fun you excited to do some biking yep now you just pumped a little scared a little scared yeah. about what which part i don't know how in control i'm gonna be yeah how in control you're gonna be yeah, just getting snow, off the lift looks like, scary getting off the lift looks more scary i don't know what are your thoughts You've my thoughts i have judged these bikers for a long time so <laughs> see how it goes. I'm uh, really excited. I think we kind of have some basic edge knowledge from skiing and uh, hopefully <laughs> it can nervous. transfer over to the bikes. I'm afraid to fly. I'm kind of scared to get on the lift and all. You can't put down a bar and you have to take up one whole seat. that we had tennis shoes on for two and a half hours in the snow. Yeah. So that was a little chilly. Oh yeah, we have our licenses now. So there's only two mountains in, I think, America that allow ski bikes. You look a little young, hey. You look a little young to be getting a license. <laughs> <laughs> Should be Don't you should do be 16? <laughs> Woo, yeah. Can I see your license, sir? Wow. You look very official and certified. Well done. You look a little too young to have a license. You sure you can be driving one of these things? Looks like you can be trusted. All right, let's go. And there they go. They have their licenses. License to bike.
Hey, Elisha. We had an awesome bachelor ski day. It was Bluebird Powder Day. Uh, they opened up the bowl, which was super awesome because they never do that hardly. And it had a foot of fresh powder. And everyone hiked up there and skied it down to Cordy. And Mama was super proud of them. They just shredded the powder like no problem. It's pretty steep up there. We got to ski with some of our cousins, which was a blast. And we kind of helped them through uh, two of their first backflips on the mountain, Brunel and Oren. Um, Kimmy did her first backflip ever and I was super proud of her. Visibility was low and so she only got one shot at it and came around and clipped one of her skis, but she was super, super close. Grandpa, we were had a super fun time skiing with Grandpa. I mean, he's just so much fun to ski with and him getting up there and skiing with all of his grandkids at age almost 82 is very impressive, so. So we are skiing out with our Grandpa, 81 years old, shreds like a boss. It's a poor visibility, very snowy day. What do you think? I have some good yak goggles before I put these on, but I was really having, I was like, I was skiing braille. You yeah, know? yeah. Because I, I couldn't really tell where the mountain was. I was just kind of dropping and dropping and, and bumping into things. Mm -hmm. And then you trade the uh, goggles with me here. I am definitely going to buy a pair. <laughs> few days ago and my mom was like you and me need to have some special time and we can do anything besides a polar dip and it can be under $15 and so we went to Barnes and Nobles and got read some books and then we went out to lunch together. Our snowsuits get really dirty and we have to wash them about once a week. So our siblings hired us for a pack of gum and we just ended up scrubbing them all out and then we got our pack of gum, so that was pretty cool. But we did have an accident. So Kinsey likes to use lots of soap because she thinks she needs lots to get out the spots, right? So I woke up at 11 to go change out the washer for the suits and there was soap everywhere. <laughs> Bubbles. Yeah, we didn't use bin soap, we used dishwashing soap. So I ended up going and getting mommy, and we had to bring all of the suits into the bathtub and try and rinse them all out and get as much soap as we could out. And our washer doesn't wash like suits very well, so we had to bring them all the way over to Graham's house, and it was about mid midnight by the time we got back to our house. So never wash suits with regular soap. <laughs> Another awesome highlight this week was getting to celebrate Lucille Ann Votberg's first birthday. She is the first granddaughter born to my parents, Chad and Janice, and she's just such a delight. We just love her so much.
collaborated with all of her YouTubers. They sent in questions and I did my best to answer them, but some of them were dealing with different difficult people like in-laws, how to handle disappointment with your spouse, and there's a whole slew of other questions. But if you're interested in that, you can go over to her YouTube channel at Now That I'm a Mother and you can hopefully get some encouragement, so check it out. So while the rest of the family was having a fantastic week there in Bend, Oregon, I was wrapping up coaching 97 brilliant entrepreneurs in the city of Chicago. And then the whole family piled into the van, left Ben, came down, picked me up in Reno, and we trucked on up to Truckee, California, right near Lake Tahoe, where we're gonna finish out some of our ski uh, adventures here at, starting at Squaw Valley. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and continue to join us as we go on our journey. Thanks so much, bye-bye.